Who in your life would you trust to set you up on a date? Mm. Wow, that's a deep question. Not Very my parents. Few people. Not yeah. my parents. Do you trust your best friend? Yes. Yeah. Do you trust your mom? No. 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 Do you trust your proctologist? Oh. <laughs> Is they're he just, hot? They're in or the she? middle of giving you an exam and they just go, you know what? Uh, I have the perfect person oh, for you. You know what this reminds me of? I don't know if I want my proctologist talking about the perfect fit in that moment. Uh, no, that's not awkward, <laughs> Brooke. Okay. That's I'm someone like, looking out for you. I'm with you, Jack. And one of our listeners, Riley, got set up on a first date by someone I don't think that I would trust. Oh. But he did. Maybe you'll feel differently. He's on with us right now. Riley, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, are you at the proctologist? Uh, I'm not at the proctologist. Okay. okay. Tell us, who's the person that set you up on the date? I guess it's kind of an interesting story. I work with my ex-girlfriend, and she set me up on the date. Your ex-girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Why so would you do not that? Someone I would trust. I, well, I don't know. It really? sounds like you guys must get along if you work together. It's true. We're still friendly. I mean, I'll be honest. I was thinking maybe there was still a chance we'd get back together, but um, uh, why? So, I, so this is good though. This means she really wants you to move on. She wants you to stop <laughs> bugging her and find someone else yeah. to obsess over. Become mm-hmm. someone else's problem. Yes, I know basically. the perfect person. They love projects. Which she, which means she can't have this fail. She's got a lot riding yeah. on this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Were you satisfied with who she set you up with? Yeah, I was. See? Oh, okay. Wow. What's this? Yeah, no, I don't think I don't think she was trying to sabotage me at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, she rare. she so, wants you to move on. Tell us about the woman <laughs> that you went out with. What's her name? Her name is Kinsley. Okay. And were you able to like meet her before or is this a total blind date? No, it's a total blind date. Oh my gosh. Uh and this is actually the first date I've gone on in a few years. Well, since your ex. Okay. You have been holding on, friend. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like we've been broken up for a few years. Oh. I'm coming, like, not going on a first date. Like the okay. overlap. Okay. Okay. So, what did you and Kinsley do for your date? I'm going to be, like, completely upfront with you. I don't completely remember everything. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't no. remember what you did? No. Were you no, so no, nervous? I, I, re- I, rem- I mean, I remember we went to brunch. She was cute and super fun, and we were having a good time. And I know that there were bottomless mimosas. Yeah, that's uh, trouble right yeah, there. Yeah. You know what they say, bottomless mimosas turn into topless mimosas. Yeah, uh, I've never no. heard that, but it makes oh, sense yeah. to me, Jose. Not that, not that <laughs> um, <laughs> was, I mean, was she on the same page as you, or were you oh, just... Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. She was coming off a breakup, too, and was set up by no. her ex-boyfriend? <laughs> That would be magic. I just mean, it's fine if you guys are both, like, getting yeah. day drunk together. It's not cool if you're wasted and she's not. Very uh, true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. I mean, like, it loosened things up. We were having a great time. We were laughing, drinking, talking. So and... when did you stop forgetting what was happening? I mean, like, when did you black out, I guess, is the quickest way I don't to know. That. I mean, it's just, like, things are fuzzy. I, mean, I didn't black out. I mean, you know, like, I remember the, the waiter cut us off. Oh. Oh. That's not good, bro. <laughs> no. hey, I was a server for almost 10 years. It takes and a lot. one time have I ever cut somebody off. Really? I get cut off a lot. Oh, Are geez. you serious? <laughs> not good. Yeah, a lot of X's on my hands. No. Places. Stop <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, Alexis. No. Anyways, not, this party. isn't about oh, me. Back to we your don't. Mimosas. I don't want to take care of that mess. That's my kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so you got cut off from the bottomless mimosas. Uh-oh. What happened next? After we hit the bottom of the bottomless mimosas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We didn't want things to end, so we started walking around and We're stumbling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I know we uh, we went to another bar. Oh, smart! And then I remember <laughs> playing tag in a mall with each other or with other children that happened to be at <laughs> no, the mall. That's a good question. Oh, with each other, with each other, and I and I, I know uh, we were making out in the department store. Oh God! Oh, you guys sound so obnoxious. I think we played hide and seek, Whoa. and I guess I won because. I passed out in one of the dressing rooms uh, <laughs> and woke up later and she didn't find me. Dude, did yeah. you get arrested for like, Wait. being wasted out in public like that? No, <laughs> I, I mean, no, come on. I mean, we weren't like disruptive. Wait, or wait, 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 wait. We were disruptive. Okay. Did you just hear the sentence that came out of your mouth? <laughs> I passed out in a department store dressing room <laughs> and my date, you said she didn't find you? Well, I mean, I don't think so, because when I woke up, I couldn't find her, so... Oh, okay. okay. So you haven't talked to her since that? <laughs> well, yeah. 
I mean, I, I, mean, I know it sounds bad. Like, I know that I sound like a mess. I don't think it sounds. I think it sounds good. You guys had a lot of fun together. You're in your own That's world. That's right. Uh, it went too far. This, this is not how you can ask my girlfriend, uh, my ex girlfriend. Oh. 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 That's all right, man. This is not me. We just really cut loose together, and uh, I mean, it felt good. I know it seems like a bad thing to you know overserve yourself, but I look at it as a good thing. Like you're having such a great time. You're not really monitoring like how much you're drinking. You're just having so much fun. You get wrapped up in the moment. Yeah, I think it's a good sign. I mean, like I said, this is like a one time. I did. I like. I mean, we had a good time. We we made out. But okay. she's not calling you back, so it has to be not that great of a time. Have right? you spoken to your ex girlfriend about why she Ooh, might be yeah. not calling back? Because you you say you work together. Well, I mean, she did say that she's not going to set me up with anybody else again. Oh, oh that's oh. not good. Dude. But she didn't say why. No, she's not talking to me. Oh, uh, what? She's not talking to you either. Yeah, one date and now two girls aren't talking. Okay. Oh, oh you so really messed up. So when you were saying things were all good, that wasn't true. <laughs> I mean, they were all good before. Okay. Yeah. Before they weren't all good. Yeah. Well, maybe okay. let's this make a, it all good this was a now. Big yeah. Mistake. I like that. We have a chance to do okay. that. We're going to play a song. We'll come back. We'll call Kinsley for you and we'll try and get you a second date, okay? Sounds good. All right. Well, if you're just joining us for the second date, we've been talking to one of our listeners, Riley who started his first date with bottomless mimosas at brunch Yum. and ended it passed out inside a department store dressing room. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, in between those things, it's a little bit hazy for him, mm-hmm. yeah, no but one knows. apparently there was a game of hide-and-seek inside the mall, <laughs> there was a make-out session, yeah. but for some strange reason, he has not been able to reach Kinsley oh, after the date is over. What could have happened? Well, actually, I just thought about this. Riley... You also mentioned that you two were playing tag. Yeah. Is there any chance that it was freeze tag and she's oh, still God. frozen oh, at no. the mall waiting to be tagged back in? There, that's it, Riley. He figured it out for you. <laughs> she's so hardcore. Uh, no, I, I don't think that's what happened. Have you even oh, been to the mall man. to check? Dude, Jeffrey. <laughs> she might be just frozen outside of Hot Topic waiting for you. Hot Topic? Through the irony. Frozen in front of Hot yeah. Topic. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I'm calling you for real help on this. God. Oh, that's a big yeah, well, That's on you, man. <laughs> I'm going to say, Riley, I think you need to prepare for what you're about to learn. You don't really remember all the details of most of the date. You have two women now, your ex and her, that won't talk to you because of something you did. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, we made out. After mm-hmm. hanging out all the time, we made out. It doesn't matter now, Riley. You need oh. to move on <laughs> past that, and you need to get ready to apologize. You're going to have to apologize for something. I don't know what it is. I don't, know. I don't agree. I think there's a chance maybe even your ex and Kinsley are now fighting over you. Uh, oh, both of them idea. won't answer his calls, Jeffrey. They're yeah, because they're, they're too busy battling yeah. each other to figure out who's going to get Riley's heart. Or oh, playing right. hard to get. That's optimistic. I think you have a shot, Riley, okay? I'm going to call Kinsley right now and try and get your second date. You ready? Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm on your side, bud. Here we go. I'm going to dial the number right now. Hello? Hi, is this Kinsley? Yeah, this is Kinsley. Who's this? My name's Jeff. I work on a morning radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Okay. Um, what is this about? <laughs> this is about a segment that we do called A Second Date that you're on right now. Congrats. Yay. Yay. What? Yeah. Yeah, exactly <laughs> what. I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> well, so the way that this works is if a listener of ours goes out on a date and afterwards, if that person isn't calling them back, you can reach out to us for help and we'll call them for you to help you figure out the reason why. Okay. Make sense? We're doing like an investigation kind of. I guess so. I don't know what this has to do with me. I'm sorry. Well, because you recently went on a date with one of our listeners. His name is Riley. And <laughs> I got to say, he sounds like a pretty fun guy. Uh, yeah, tons of fun. Yeah, I'm glad you agree. Uh, I, didn't say I, any I would sarcasm. say I would say Riley sounds like a pretty clueless guy. Mm. Like he thought you guys had a great time on the date and is totally unaware of why you wouldn't be calling him back. 
I'm kind of shocked that he remembers the date. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, yeah. doesn't. Joke's I mean, you. he told he told us <laughs> what he does remember from the date, yeah. and what he does remember is having a pretty good time with you. He mentioned going and getting brunch with bottomless mimosas. There was some games played at the mall, and he mentioned that there was a kiss. He said make out. A make yeah. out. Yeah. So I mean, things kiss. must have gone pretty well if you're willing to make out with this guy. He said that. Me and him made out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He was <laughs> well, he was almost certain about that. Oh, okay. Well, everything else he told you was right. We got brunch and went to the mall, but we did not kiss. What? Oh no. No way. I'm confused now. Wait, do I mean do you remember the details of your date or was it really hazy for you too? You were wasted. I was buzzed. I was certainly, you know, pretty tipsy, but I I think I probably remember more than him because I know what he's talking about, but I never made out with him. Wait, what? So who did he make out with yeah. then? Yeah, help us get some clarity. So we were both pretty blitzed and we were playing tag in the mall <laughs> and he stopped and started making out with a mannequin. No. No! You're joking. Are you serious? I wish I were joking. Oh, he started oh. hanging out with a mannequin, and it was so embarrassing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to get him to stop because I didn't want him to get in trouble. I I didn't want to get in trouble, yeah. but he, he kept going. And then finally, once he did stop, he just, like, ran into a dressing room. So I just left because I was like, people know I'm with this guy what? who just made no, out with a mannequin. No. Wait, he thought you guys were playing. He told us that he went into the dressing room because you guys were playing hide and seek mm -hmm. in the department oh. store and he passed out. Uh, no, I mean, I was certainly trying to hide from oh. him. But... <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, my God. I, th I think oh. I see what's going on here. Like, I understand having fun and letting loose, and we were both certainly being, like, messy and drunk. Right. But if you're on a first date and you make out with a mannequin, that's kind of a no-go for yeah. me. So, to be clear, you're jealous of the mannequin. No. no. That he, he made out with the mannequin instead of you. That's it. At least he stopped there. I'm glad you got the message from my story. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're good. Yeah, he's good. He's quick. Well, like you know what? The mannequin meant nothing to him. I, th I think I can speak on behalf of Riley, okay, yeah. and what he was really thinking about was you. He misses you. You know what? Don't just take my word for it. Hear it from Riley himself, because I need to let you know, Kinsley, he's on the other line listening, and he wants to talk to you. He's on the phone. Yeah. Uh, Riley? Hey. Oh, my God. Um, Hi. I mean, are you sure that that's what happened? I am positive that's what I happened, mean, Riley. We were both pretty drunk. Like I uh, think you were a little more drunk than I was. I mean, you said make out, bro. Do you you don't feel any tongue when you're kissing a mannequin, bro. You don't feel any warmth. You don't feel yeah, any blood. You too. don't feel anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't imagine. Like, how can I, that's like. <laughs> I thought you were joking at first. I was like, oh, this is a bit. But then I saw oh. your tongue come out. Uh-oh. And you were Frenching. Oh, the yeah, baby. I mean, and then, oh. <laughs> I feel like that's what the sound that he was making, yeah. too, as he was kissing the mannequin. Is any of this clicking, Riley? You know, sometimes, like, if you hear it, then you can start to get flashes. I don't know. Like, I was wondering why your hands were at your sides and not, like, moving. <laughs> Like a military. It's like, man, <laughs> you have rock solid abs. <laughs> is, okay, is there any chance oh, that no. this didn't really happen or did really happen? Like, uh, I want to stand up for you, Riley. Yeah, it's tough, bro. I mean, is there anything else that I should know about? That's like, a good question. Um, well, <laughs> uh, you did make out with the mannequin for a long time. Mm. And <laughs> when I was trying to stop you, you started to like take the mannequin's top off. Oh, hey. what? I started to what? Oh no! Oh, you started to undress the mannequin, like in in a romantic, intimate way. Ooh, that's that's very cute. Like, uh, I mean, like kissing its neck. This is not me. This is why I never cut loose like that. Like, obviously, there's a reason why. 
Because okay. okay. this has happened before? <laughs> like, no, this no. is a trend? This is, it's a one-time... I, I mean, here's the thing, Kinsley. Can you forgive it as just a drunken, idiotic mistake? Mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds like he really doesn't remember, so I do feel bad oh. about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Of course I don't remember. Like, why would I call a radio station if I if this was what, what you were going to say? I'm not a... Oh... <laughs> yeah. oh he's man. defeated, he, Kinsley. No, he's obviously... He's about the mannequin again. Maybe. No, come on. I feel like, Kinsley, he's really embarrassed about what happened. He obviously didn't mean for it to go that way. And he thought he was kissing you. He wishes that it was you. Mm-hmm. And that's why we would love to send you out on a second date... And we'll pay for it. No mannequins anywhere nearby that he could confuse mm-hmm. you with. Or no alcohol, no I think, bottomless. is probably the better choice. No. Brooke, I, what are you saying? I'm just saying. Are you lame. listening to yourself? I do feel really bad that I said all that stuff about you kissing him. I mean, it happened, but I feel bad that you don't remember. And now I brought it up on the radio. Oh, that's not on you, Kinsley. Don't worry. You seem really sweet and genuine. So... Yeah, I would go out with you again. All right. Whoa. Yes, Riley. Awesome. Congratulations, is... man. Uh, I was just not how I expected it to go. Oh, my God. I didn't either, brother. That's a comeback. Uh, that is, is yeah. a comeback, hey, Riley. Hey, good job, guys. And the good news is if this relationship goes well, then you already have a maid of honor picked out for your <laughs> wedding day. Oh, my God.